job local 920 we, made, we, we were all uh, privy to go down to the lakefront and enjoy a Labor Day festival so but I never really took the time to figure out what is this national holiday uh, Labor Day and so the origins of it is uh, it was observed it's observed the first Monday in September and Labor Day is an annual celebration of social and economic achievements of the American worker. The holiday is rooted in the late 19th century when labor activists pushed for a federal holiday to recognize the many contributions workers have made to America's strength, prosperity, and well-being. Well, then we should have a black day. Um, but before it was a federal holiday, Labor Day was recognized by labor activists and individual states only. After municipal ordinances were passed in 1885 and 1886, a movement developed to secure state legislation. New York was the first state to introduce the bill. But Oregon was the first to pass the law recognizing Labor Day on February 21st, 1887. Hmm, ain't that something? During 1887, four more states, Colorado, Massachusetts, New Jersey, New York, passed laws creating a Labor Day holiday. Now, by the end of the decade, Connecticut, Nebraska, Pennsylvania had all followed suit. And by 1894, 23 more states had adopted the holiday. And on June 20th, 1894, Congress passed an act, making it the first Monday in September of each year for a legal holiday. Mm, okay. And so there's a lot of controversy about who started it, uh, who founded it. Was it McGuire? Um, or above wire, right? Uh, the first two, the first proposed the holiday for workers is not entirely clear, but two workers can make a solid claim to the founder of Labor Day title. Some records show that in 1882, Peter McGuire, General Secretary of the Brotherhood of Carpenters and Joiners and co-founder of the American Federation of Labor, Suggested setting aside for the day, uh, for a general holiday, for the laboring classes, and to honor those who, from rude nature, have dealt in carved all the grandeur we behold. Now, one of the names was spelled M A G U I R E, and the other one, Peter, his name. Wire spell M C G U I R. Now, Matthew McGuire, not Peter McGuire, founded the holiday. That's, wow. Okay. Interesting. So, happy Labor Day to y'all. And the first Labor Day was September 5th, 1882, in New York, in accordance with plans of the civil labor. Central Labor Union. The Central Labor Union held a second Labor Day holiday just a year later, September 5th, 1883. And by 1894, 23 more states, like I said before. And President Grover Cleveland signed that law, making it the first Monday in September. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, to the American workers, thank you for keeping this stuff afloat. To all the service workers, I want to thank you and give you a shout out because nobody got it hire working with people who is crazy, got their own uh, nicks and crannies, and they come to the uh, fast food joints to take everything out on y'all. When they have a bad situation, trouble at home, bad kids, bad marriage, and they go get them a, a double burger, they come in and take all that frustration out on y'all. And to all, I just want to wish everybody a happy Labor Day. And uh, don't drink too much, don't eat too much, because remember most of y'all going back to work tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.